What's going on guys? Stefan, SME's Garage. Uh, today we are switching to lawnmower mode. We have an old Craftsman DYT 4000. This was originally an 18 and a half horsepower machine that we swapped a 24 horsepower motor in uh, after my father-in-law locked it up. I'm not exactly sure what happened there, but uh, we, we swapped a bigger motor in it and then he used it for another year or two and then got a bigger one so I took this uh, when we bought this house just so I had something to use uh, but I went to go ahead and start you know getting it out for the season and the uh, battery was stone dead so I went ahead I put a new battery in it and what I noticed I'm gonna fire this thing up real quick so it's gonna get a little loud but with my blades engaged I was discharging, so I was in a state of discharge, uh, meaning that the, the alternator, or in this case the stator, um, is not charging the battery. So let me just show you exactly what I'm talking about here. Let me just fire this thing up. I'm going to give it a little bit of choke, make sure we got some throttle. Let's crank it up. So what you basically saw there was the fact that the meter was discharging. It was not showing that we were charging the battery. Uh, so now we're going to go ahead, we're going to put the meter right on the battery, we're going to fire it up, and we're going to look at the meter and see exactly what uh, that stator and or voltage regulator is putting out. So here we have our battery right now, machine not running, it's right about 12.6 volts, 12.7 volts. Uh, that's right around where I would expect it to be. So let's go ahead, fire it up, we're going to see if this increases at all. So we basically just confirmed that, okay, this uh, this battery is not being charged, and uh, we don't want that because it's going to make our new battery fail uh, right away. So let's go ahead, let's get this disconnected, and let's start looking at the, uh, the voltage regulator. So the voltage regulator on this machine is going to be right here. It's going to have a, a two-pin connector here with yellow wires going into the regulator. These two black wires here come out of the stator, so it goes from the stator into the voltage regulator. The voltage regulator uh, basically converts that AC voltage coming out of the stator uh, to DC voltage that can be used to charge the battery and run the machine. And then I believe this red wire here is my output uh, that basically goes from the voltage re regulator uh, to then go ahead and allow the battery to charge. Um, so what we're going to do here, we're going we're gonna to unplug this connector here, this red one, and we're going to put our, our voltmeter in on this side and we're going to see if this uh, you know, regulator is outputting any type of voltage with the machine running. So right there you just saw that this voltage regulator is only putting out about 2 volts which uh, is definitely not enough <laughs> uh, to charge the battery. So what we're going to do now is we're going to unplug this yellow connector here and we're going to test to see what our stator is putting out. I'm not exactly sure what the spec is, uh, but we do have to check that in AC voltage, which is going to be one click over, which is right here. So let's get that disconnected. Let's set the meter up. I'm going to fire it up and we're going to see exactly what we're outputting out of the stator. Um, and if I have power you know, what I think is decent enough power coming out of the stator, uh, then I'm going to, you know, go ahead and condemn this voltage regulator here and we're going to get one on order. Right, let's go ahead, fire it up, see what kind of power we're getting out of this. I'm just going to get my meter ready. You'll see what I did is I have one alligator clip in the uh, connector here, and the other one I left out, we're just going to use the point at the end of the lead here. There it is, to uh, see what we got there, because we can short this out, we don't want to do that.
Horse Theater is putting out right around 31, 29, you know, ish um, AC voltage. So I'm going to go ahead and call that stator okay. So we have a problem in the voltage regulator, which, like I said, is this guy right here, right here. So we're going to go ahead, we're going to get one, one of them on order, and uh, we're going to report back, see how we made out. So basically, what happens here is this voltage regulator takes the you know the 29 to 32 volts coming out of the stator and it regulates and rectifies it and then it'll send us between 12 to 15 volts out of this wire here into this wire and that will then charge our battery so one other thing we want to rule out is that we don't have an issue from here to the battery so right now we have the tractor's key on if you'll see here the key is on and what you should be able to do is get battery voltage on this wire with it disconnected so we know that we have continuity from here to the battery and, and we can without a doubt say that this this voltage regulator is 100 percent our issue all right guys so we have our new uh, voltage regulator rectifier here it's going to be b 0 cs c3 a C8. That's going to be your model number. I'm going to go ahead and link this uh, in the video description below uh, with my Amazon affiliates. So if you guys do need one of these, purchase through that link. The channel gets a small cut. This looks like it's going to be two three-eighths bolts. Um, all you have to do is we'll remove the top one and loosen the bottom, and this will slide right out. And then we're going to unplug our two connectors here. All right guys, so we got the new one installed here. Everything's plugged in. We're just gonna go ahead and put our meter across the battery terminals here, fire it up and see what kind of voltage we're putting out to the battery. So you'll see engine off, we're at 12.7 volts. Let's go ahead, give it some choke, give it some throttle, fire it up. guys so as you see our battery is now charging man there's some crazy airplanes up there right now but uh yep battery's charging the voltage regulator rectifier uh fixed our issue uh your ride on tractor lawnmower is now charging and fixed so if this video helped you please smash that like button smash the subscribe button share the video and we'll see you next time